In the house, when I was hiding, the room was old, I mean new, perfect, like like when they lived there. And I saw this. Then we can see movement under the white, so maybe that is the reason we go stick white. Got it right here. Colin's gonna get something to make it a little shiny. Action! If anything, a spider man should have eight arms on four. Okay. We are creating or recreating some of the most cherished, the scary, fun, uh, uh, sort of entertaining uh, horror tales that are uh, anthologized in those books. But we do it in a way that is seamless with the story. You don't notice. It's just the tale starts little by little and it comes to a conclusion beautifully. Andre is a great director and a director that directs beautiful set pieces of horror. Uh, so you have the uh, recognizing the the thing to come and elbow each other and giggle and then be really scared. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. There are two types of horror movies, ones that are disturbing and they sort of scar your soul permanently. And then there is a different type of uh, horror movie, which is like a roller coaster ride. It's fun uh, and it's entertaining. And is uh, you know really thrilling, but ultimately yeah. has a humanistic yeah, spirit, and that's I'm the saying, type of movie yeah. Andre Get does. Out. Uh, you are having fun, getting scared, and and he was perfect. Yeah, the car. Uh, he also is a filmmaker of supreme elegance in the way he stages with the camera and the actors. He's a very classic, very elegant but at the same time completely unafraid to go there for the scare. Each of the creatures or the uh, monsters or the characters that we brought to life come from an illustration by Stephen Gamel. And uh, we tried to be very faithful to them. We wanted to do it physically. We didn't want digital creatures. We wanted to do uh, uh, suits, prosthetics, uh, to put the real things in front of the camera. And uh, each of them is executed through Spectral Motion, Michael Isalda's company, but uh, Norman Cabrera right. sculpts uh, uh, two of the characters that I think riff uh, the best with him. Uh, the, the corpse on the big toe and the scarecrow in Harold. And then uh, Mike Hill, who sculpted the creature in Shape of Water, and to me is a superb character sculptors executes the pale woman in a story called The Room and uh, a, a creature that we took from two or three stories and connected it called the jangle, Jingle Jangly Man and is a this creature that is assembled from pieces and there's other stories that come into play but uh, you will see them uh, they're like Easter eggs the funny thing is every single set piece Andre did is scary. I mean, I, I love to say this as producer. Uh, I have no merit in that, but Andrew did it. Uh, uh, my favorite sculpturally is the pale woman in the story of the room. But uh, every single set piece is yeah. delivered exactly as the story uh, would be. Why should be going up and in for that? For, for that line. Oh, 